So we're still on part four, question mark, I don't remember. Um, we just got done putting in the glorious 8.4 inch vacuum motor. Yes, you leave those on so that when you get a new motor, it's easy to swap. You just pull the bolt out, pull the bolt out, and then uh, tighten the nut, depending on the different height of the motor. You can use all thread. I didn't have any, and I didn't want to cut the head off the bolt. So, and notice I made it so I can replace it easily. So, I know what you're saying, why are you so paranoid about that? Well, vacuum motors die, especially when you're a noob. And uh, I'm going to show you what killed this vacuum motor real quick. <clears throat> See in there? See that? Here comes the fun, guys. See that fuzz that's in there? That right there throws this motor out of balance. See the next fan? How it doesn't have fuzz on it? And that one doesn't. And that one doesn't. That one does. That one doesn't. So, unless you're super awesome and can calibrate the type of fuzz you have coming in, you don't know um, how much you're going to have. So, I got my handy dandy calibrated doodly doo and the 8.4, the single 8.4. We're going to turn on that vacuum and we're going to give it a shot. And see what we get. So we would hit 150. Now let's see what we get as far as inches of water lift. I mean mercury in this case. And you, there's mercury to water lift conversion charts out there y'all can get. Sorry, I just went inner, inner southern came out of me. Um, let's let's see what this does, and it should be an improvement. sitting at nine but I heard a leak and I think it's leaking with my cobbled together mess of a setup um, so we probably could get it close to 10 so I know what you're thinking well how does this compare to like a entry-level new extractor well most entry-level new extractors aren't going to have 150 CFMs and most certainly aren't going to have you know nine inches of mercury back in the day and I know I'm going to get a lot of garbage for this, but not too long ago, even in the 2000s, it was not uncommon for a gas truck mount to be sold from the factory le with less than 10 inches of mercury. Um, it's a pretty new thing, this high lift numbers. So just keep that in mind. And, uh, you know, honestly, this is an extractor that you could take out in the field right now make some serious money with and you know I don't want anybody to be scared to start in this business you know so far in this $200 extractor it was $200 new we have about maybe five dollars worth of parts here you know you can see how I modified it to work um, you know you've got the valve right there, you can get those from an RV supply for 14 bucks, and the vacuum motor for $150 from CleanRight. And look at the improvement you made just on the suction side. On the pump side, believe it or not, it still functions fine. Heater works. So what? You don't, you know, $400? You know, it actually it came working you could clean carpet with it with just a new you know nine dollars seal you know so come on guys if you want to get into carpet cleaning pretty cheap 
to find yourself a used machine, especially if you're a little handy. And believe it or not, you have to be handy to make it in this business. If you want to constantly be paying for repairs, you're more than welcome to. But it's difficult. Have a great day. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to message me through, um, through any means that you have. And have a great one.